Namaskar Shivaya students. Today we shall learn English for class 4. And today we shall do a story writing. And our topic is a very famous proverb. A bad workman always blames his tools. That means a person who has done some work badly or improperly will seek to lay the blame on the equipments or tools rather than admit his own lack of skills. Now, we shall proceed towards the structure of a story. Number one is heading. Heading is a title for a story. Number two is introduction. In introduction, we tell the readers what the story is about in brief. Number three is main body. Main body is a part where we narrate the story in detail. And number four is conclusion. Conclusion is the last part where we precisely conclude our story. Now, we shall learn the five main elements of a story. When we are writing a story, we have to, we must have these elements in our story. So, let us learn. First, the five elements of a story. Number one, characters. The characters are the individuals that the story is about. The author should introduce the characters at the beginning of the story. Number two is setting. The setting is the location of the action. The writer describes the surroundings of the story in detail. Number three is plot. The plot is the actual story around which the entire writing is based. Four, conflict. Every story has conflict to solve. The characters attempt to resolve the problem. Number five, resolution. The solution to the problem is the way the conflict is resolved. So students, whenever you are writing a story, you have to, you must have these five elements in your story whenever you are writing a story. So, as I told you that your topic is a bad workman always blames his tools. That is your topic for writing a story. Now, I shall tell you a story based on this proverb. Students, you, you just listen to me very carefully now. I am going to tell you a story so that you can understand how to write a story. You just need to listen to me now very, very carefully. John and Sam were two farmers who were neighbors. Both of them owned a pair of oxen with which they plowed their land. John worked hard all day, lo all day long in order to get a good yield and looked after his oxen very well, very well, since he knew that they were very important for his farming activity. Sam, on the other hand, was a very lazy person who did not put any effort in his work and he never fed his oxen properly, but extracted maximum work from them. As a result, the oxen became weak and could not work properly. When it was the, the time to cultivate crops, John had a good harvest, but Sam did not. Sam had blamed his oxen for the result. John, being a good and helpful friend, told Sam that it was only Sam who was responsible for his miserable state. John was a good workman and hence he was able to succeed.
On the other hand, Sam, being a bad workman, was unable to get the best result for his laziness and inactive work spirit. Students, now you have to write a story based on the proverb a bad workman always blames his tools by using your own creativity thoughts and ideas you have to write the story by yourself and students when you are writing the story you have to cover at least 10 points in your story and i know you can write a beautiful story by yourself so students here we are done with our today's class om namah shivaya